This guy here, Jay Black, executed his girlfriend, Tyra LeBang, then went to the home of his ex-wife, Wendy Natalie, then murdered her too. And I think, I, I think, I think I found out why people are only showing pictures of Tyra, and that is because there are a bunch of Wendy Natalies in Google Image Search. And a lot of these pictures, from what I saw, they've even put Jay Black's name under them, so, you know, I've even seen him photoshopped onto different Natalies, so, uh, People are already on here playing games. But I have a question. To the side that's opposed to the male side of your gender warriors on here. The females in there. Uh, male partners who help them against the men on here. And that question is, why not? That question is to the male counterparts on here. Why not? Now, before I tell you what why not means, let me play for you the mentality that I'm asking the question to. Blue Ash woman will spend the next six months in prison for lying about being raped. This type of case has only happened twice in Hamilton County in the last five years. Nine News reporter Annette Pegler is downtown at the Hamilton County Courthouse after speaking with a woman's family about why this happened. Annette? Carol, Melinda Denham sent a letter to the judge stating that she lied when she told police that her ex-boyfriend, Shannon Hudson, raped her in her father's Blue Ash home. And so he didn't rape you? No. Melinda Denham broke down in tears this morning after admitting that she lied when she swore before a grand jury about being raped last August. I know I made a mistake and I mean, I know I can't take it back. I just, I don't want to get in trouble no more. Her boyfriend, Shannon Hudson, was charged with burglary and two counts of rape and spent two months in jail before being released. You knew from the very start that he'd done nothing. And this man spent 60 days, as I understand, in jail or thereabouts because you lied. Family members of Denham says she lied out of fear. He threatened her and promised and promised and promised all this kinds of stuff that his lawyer was going to do for her and he was going to do for her and threatening her and, and through letters and phone calls. Kendall Fisher works for Women Helping Women downtown. She says they help about 1,300 sexual assault survivors in Hamilton County each year. We're always concerned when there's a great deal of media attention given to the issue of false reporting um, because what that does is it really amplifies a, a, what's really a universal barrier for sexual assault survivors and, and coming forward and getting support and it's that fear that they're not going to be believed. Don't call out the women who lie on men because that might scare women away from telling the truth. That is the irrational mentality of the gender warriors on here, both male and female. And out of all the genres on here, the, gen the gender warriors is the most irrational and emotionally based of them all. Second are the atheists versus theists on here. Those people are crazy. But no genre on here is more nonsensical than the gender warriors. No other people on here have personalized their position more than the male versus female combatants on here. But you heard the lady. You heard her. Simplify, do or die. That means loyal defender no matter what. Even if it comes to the point of blind loyalty. Don't attack the liars because it might make people not want to tell the truth. Or in other words, males, whether man or boy, don't deserve the truth. Let them be lied on. What that lady said runs a lot deeper than my quick summary of her mentality. Simplify, do or die. But why not? Why not is, I'm asking why not, that's to this uh, supposed outrage at the men on here making excuses for cold-blooded murders. So why not? Why y'all mad at that? Why not make excuses for him? Why shouldn't they? Well, it's because what Jay Black did was horrific. Wrong answer. That's the wrong answer. I know it's horrific. You know that too. And guess who else knows that? The people that's making excuses for them, they know it too. That's why they're making the excuses. 
Oh, man, the system driving brothers crazy out here, man. Women need to stop using the kids against the men. And the excuses are very plentiful. In great abundance, the, the excuses are. But just as their female counterparts have. They got, the men got just as many. And no, I'm not going to play any audio or video of women on here trying to justify or excuse all kinds of crimes and other activities committed by females, whether girl or woman. But just remember that they have the mentality of that lady said, of that lady who said, don't expose false accusers. So, why not? Why shouldn't these men be on here bringing up the many traumas that men and boys go through in this country? Like, what about our pain, huh? What about ours? Oh, I know. Men and boys are impenetrable and vulnerable and impervious to trauma or mental and physical anguish, right? Oh, no, that's not right. That ain't right. I know. Those things are reserved only for females, right? Whatever. Whatever. Oh. Whatever. Whatever. I do what I want. The mentality I'm asking the question to is the reason why. When a man gets exonerated from false rape charges, I've heard, oh no, she couldn't help it. It was her being molested as a child and the trauma from that stuck to her soul. I've heard this plenty of times. I've even seen that recently with uh, Anthony Broadwater. 16 years in jail. Lady lied on him for rape. And I heard, oh, it was the trauma from the rape that made her lie. Oh, no, it wasn't her. It was the police that coerced her into lying on him. So, why not? Why not? I'm asking why not to the mentality who win. Every time there's like, a, say, a, a, a home invasion robbery, they come up in the house, murder everybody. Murder everybody in the house. Two males, one female commit the act, and the female always gets the least amount of time. That mindset that always lessens the acts and behaviors of females. This is why I'm asking, why not? Why shouldn't they be on here making excuses? I'm asking why not because I'm speaking to the overall mindset of your gender warriors. Totally irrational. You have dudes on here upset that their female gender warrior counterparts are on here saying, look, 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 these black men. I told you, it's these black men. These dudes on here are upset that the women are using Jay Black to depict all men. I've even already heard, see, and you wonder why we be saying abort black male children, because look what they'll do to you when they get big. I've heard that already. Men are speaking in opposition to that. Hey, you can't label us all as that. It's if using news stories against each other is not standard practice. Both male and female do that to each other. But when it's the other side's turn, when it's their turn, to get false, when it's their turn to get falsely classified, both sides will swear to God that it's not fair to use stories and incidences to classify all men or all women as that. So why not? Why shouldn't dudes be on here coming up with reasons why what Jay Black did wasn't entirely his fault? Why not? <laughs> 